You are looking at a finale file that I am going to prepare to export as Music XML so as to import into new Smart Music. I have begun with a file that would have been properly formatted to export into classic Smart Music. So in classic, we would have needed a specific clef for treble voices to read bass clef, and then bass clef voices were fine reading bass clef. In classic smart music, we would have had to have differentiated the vocal ranges because classic smart music was octave specific when it went to make an assessment. That is not true in new smart music. A feature of new smart music is that it can assess octave equivalence. So all vocal ranges can read the same staff. All vocal ranges can read the same staff and be assessed properly. So I am going to go into my score manager. I am going to delete the staff that was specifically to assess treble clef voices reading in bass clef and then I am going to rename the baritone part as my part. I change the name of the staff that students are expected to sight read to my part so that when they're in new smart music and there's a drop down menu of which part they are going to perform, they simply have to choose my part. The other two parts are named accompaniment. I'm also going to take away that extra B there. Okay, we now have set up the score manager. So I'm going to close that window. Now we have the one part that all students can sight sing in bass clef. The other two staves are accompanimental. The soprano line that works with the bass line that they are sight reading, and in measure one, a tonicization pattern. Now, another reason why I deleted the treble clef part is that new smart music, when interpreting a score that has been uploaded, can assess any staff and all the other staves will make the accompanimental part. That's not as it was in classic. Remember that in classic smart music, you were able to designate which staves were the accompaniment separate from which staves were available to be assessed. In new smart music at this time, it will assess one staff and all the other staves form the accompaniment. Okay, so I have, I will save. I've properly formatted it. We can do further formatting once we're inside New Smart Music, but I like to do as much of my formatting inside the finale file. And I go back to the file, export as Music XML. I'm gonna take a moment, look just beneath that, translate folder. If you have formatted a whole folder of files, it will translate a whole folder of MUSX files into Music XML, just so that you know that. Okay, we're gonna work just with this one file, Music XML, and I like it to be Baselines XML 2019. I previously saved this file, so it's probably going to tell me that already have a copy and I'm going to let that replace. Okay, now we are ready to leave Finale and open up the Chrome browser and log in to New Smart Music and import our Music XML copy of BWV 451, a baseline.